everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a rose sparkle eye tutorial we're going to be starting out with our eyes already primed my eyebrows are done and I'm just putting makeup geek sorbet into my crease then we're going to follow that up with cupcake with a smaller fluffy brush and we're just going to dust that all over the crease in the outer corner The following shade is going to be Mango Tango and we're going to be using a e.l.f. blending brush from the $1 line and just doing the same thing but slightly lower in the crease. Then we're going to be using Makeup Geek Razzleberry on a e.l.f. crease brush as well but this is from I think the $3 line and we're going to be putting that slightly lower in the crease. And then we're going to be using the e.l.f. Uh, glitter glue and the MAC Rose Pigment. I'm just going to be putting the glitter glue all over my mobile lid with a Vera Mona short shader brush. And then I'm going to be taking a Real Techniques uh, detailer brush with the pigment and I'm just going to put that on my eyelid where I put the glitter glue. And I'm using swiping motions to make sure that I catch all the fallout, you know, before I put my foundation on so we don't have any mess when we put the foundation. Now I'm going to go back in with the same glitter glue and some glitter that I found at the craft store. Just be extremely careful if you use glitter from the craft store as it can scratch your eye if you do get it in there. And I'm just going to be doing, putting that in the same spots that I put the uh, MAC Rose pigment. Now you don't need to use the glitter, you could just leave it, you know, without the glitter just as the, with the rose pigment and the eye look is beautiful, put some eyeliner on and you can call it a day. But I want to take it up a notch. Now I'm just going to be putting some more raspberry in the crease just to soften that line where the glitter is. And I'm also going to go back in with uh, the e.l.f. blending brush with no additional product just to blend out the lines. Now I'm going to be using this Physicians Formula Eyeliner. I love this. It is awesome. It's got a very fine tip and it's very easy to do a wing with. And I'm just going to do a small wing. Now I should have done this before I put the glitter on, but I totally forgot, but I made it work. And then once I'm done with this, I'm going to go in with the um, e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. And I'm just going to clean that up a little bit, just to intensify the, the blackness. And just clean up my, my wing a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go on foundation. I'm using the Revlon Color Stay in shade 110 Ivory. And I'm going to be using a Morphe um, foundation brush. And I'm just going to just paint it on my face, you know. Kind of like spackling up a wall. And my face is already primed with the um, L'Oreal Lumi Primer. And then I'm, after that, I'm going to go in with the uh, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and just blend that all out. I'm using a combination of stippling and buffing motion just to get that all blended out. And then after I get it all blended out, I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender just to get rid of any um, brush strokes that are in there. And my Beauty Blender is dampened.
Then I'm going to use the Stila color correcting palette in that with the peachy shade and the more orangey shade. I use both shades because I've got more than one tone of under eye discoloration. So I like to use the two shades, it, it seems to help the best. Then I'm going to go in with the um, Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer in, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's shade 1, just to cover up the color correcting um, stuff. And I'm just going to blend that all out. And I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D uh, Lock It Cream Concealer, the new one that she just came out with. And I'm going to make sure I get it right up under that wing to clean it up. And I'm going to paint it in a triangle under my eye. And then I'm going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. And now I'm going to set this right away so it, it, I can prevent the creasing under my eyes. Since I do have so much product on my face. But I'm using color powder. I love this stuff, especially for fair skin, because even though some powders say they're translucent, you know, they still have a little bit of color to them. This one, you know, obviously has absolutely no color to it, and it is awesome. I love it, and it's very affordable. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. And I'm also going to put this on my forehead, down the center of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin just to highlight my face. And I love the applicator tip on this concealer. It makes it so easy to get into like tight little spots. It's amazing. And the color selection is phenomenal, especially if you have pale skin like me. This is the second lightest shade next to the pure white shade. It's just, it's truly amazing. I do find it slightly hard to blend out though. And I'm just gonna set those areas as well. And I'm gonna make a mess with the powder all over my room. I'm also going to be setting the rest of my face with this powder as well. Now I'm going to be contouring my face with the NYX Taupe Blush. This is an awesome contour color for pale skin. I'm just going to be put, putting that in the hollows of my cheeks, on my forehead. Oops, I got a little too much there. On my forehead, you know, around my temples, and on my jawline. I don't contour my nose simply for, because I... I do really like the shape of my nose. I don't want to alter that at all. Now I'm going in with the illuminating palette and I'm taking the tannish color shade in there. Even though it is an illuminating palette, it's awesome for pale skin if you want to con you know, contour with it. I don't find that it really is that illuminating. And then I'm going to use that yellowy shade to just cut them cheekbones. And I'm going to put that down the center of my face as well. Now I'm going in with the Becca Pearl Highlighter. This stuff, I'm telling you, for pale skin, can't go wrong. Look at that highlight. It'll be glowing to the stars. And I'm just going to put that, you know, on my the high points of my face. My cupid's bow, above my eyebrow, my cheekbones, a little bit down the center of my nose. And on the very, very tip of my nose. I don't really like to put it all the way down my nose because I have a scar on my nose that I don't want to accentuate. Now I'm going to be using Milani Tea Rose Blush in combination with the Becca... Uh, I think it's called Brushed Copper um, Blush. I'll leave it down in the description below. I'm just going to use a combination of the two of those. I just think it looks beautiful. And then I'm going to go back in with a little highlight because they look I 
right guys, so this is the finished look. Today is my birthday and I'm going out to dinner. I think this is very, very pretty. I'm really liking the glitter. I actually curled my hair. And I'm going to be putting on this liquid lip. It's from Milani. It's the Amore Matte Lip Cream in number 17 Fancy. And I'm going to be using the Hot Pink, let me see, let's see, let's see, the NYX um, Edge Pink uh, Lip Liner. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't never miss another video from me again.